2023 conference venue at Rotterdam the Dede Lands. I, Dr. Sangeeta Kaur, Director Delnet and also the IFLA 2023 Ambassador for Asia Oceania region is much pleased to brief you all about the proceedings of the day one of the much awaited 88th World Library and Information Congress IFLA 2023 which begins with its majestic opening today morning. Mrs. Barbara Lisson, President IFLA, delivered the welcome opening address and inspired the library and information science professionals to stay relevant and to work for the libraries and their communities. She emphasized on the need of establishing connections and collaborations, promoting wider access to knowledge. Mrs. Gunai Oslo, the State Secretary, Culture and Media, delivered the special address. She began the address by referring to the famous Dutch author, Neil Gulleid, uh, and also informed that how his life and works were being impacted by the libraries. She said that the libraries are the places where we grow and develop, and librarians are, libraries are meant for everybody. She further felt that librarians facilitate dialogues and brings people together. She also apprised that the Dutch government is investing a lot in establishing libraries and also revamping and meeting the needs and requirements of the current day users. She quoted the beautiful lines of the Dutch philosopher Erasmus that, to quote, a life without books is unlivable. It was followed by an enlightening interest by Mr. Robert de Greff, the Minister of Education, Culture and Science, who opined that the libraries are the original research infrastructures and are the knowledge accelerators. He said that the knowledge is a great connector between communities and generations. He urged the LIS professionals to distill the information and knowledge out of the incredible data. He felt the need to bridge the knowledge gap and to reinvent the libraries. Mr. Theo Kemp Kemperman, the chair of the Dutch National Committee, IFLA 2023, welcomed the participants and informed about the meticulous planning of IFLA 2023 organizing secret sec uh, secretariat, which was held in close collaboration with IFLA. He was much pleased to inform all the attendees that IFLA 2023 conference has been attended by more than 3,000 attendees from over 150 countries, including a larger virtual participation, which has happened for the first time in the IFLA conferences. Mr. Sharon Memes, the Secretary General of IFLA, provided a road map of IFLA activities and gave a futuristic vision for the libraries and LIS professionals. I am very pleased and honoured and privileged to inform you all that Her Royal Highness Princess Laurentine of Netherlands delivered the keynote address and graced the occasion with her presence. She lauded the efforts of IFLA in bringing the library committee together and for working for the libraries. The inaugural session also witnessed the highly pulsating performances by the dance troops which enthralled the participants. I would like to mention that the entire day, a large number of parallel sessions, highly enriching and enlightening sessions, were being held by the global library and information science experts. And I would like to mention about few of the sessions which I got an opportunity to attend. The one of the session uh, which began this morning, just immediately after the inaugural, was on Let's Library for Responsible AI, wherein Mr. Peter Bryant of the University of Sydney gave an enriching talk. He discussed at length about the ethics, opportunities, and hype of generative AI. He also spoke about the bias and discriminations and inequalities of AI. He also deliberated on the ethical challenges of artificial intelligence, fake news, which is now on a constant rise. Mr. Jonathan Band from the University of Sheffield spoke at length about the three major copyright issues implicated by the generative AI. He cited various copyright cases reported globally and the specific country's responses to them, which varied from country to country. I would like to now mention that yet another session uh, on controlled digital lending from varying perspectives was held wherein the expert speakers from varied countries shared their expert views on controlled digital lending. I would like to mention that the controlled digital lending is meant more for the e-books lending and uh, we do have the document delivery services, which is meant more for the journal articles. But yes, the CDL is for the ebooks. And this entire session was on controlled digital lending. And we had the wider perspectives, you know, from the expert speakers from varied countries. Mr. Ben White of uh, Knowledge Rights 21 of UK informed the attendees about the secure digital lending and 
a Spark Europe initiative being undertaken by Knowledge Rights 21 of UK. He also cited the University of Glasgow study on ebooks. It was followed by a talk by Mrs. Mantha Tillett, the head of the Business Development and Licenses at British Library, who spoke at length about the British Library perspectives of controlled digital lending. He's, she said that the, that the currently it is not being adopted by the British Library, and she also referred to the various services, including EHES, that is Enhanced High Education Supply Service of the British Library. It was followed by a virtual recorded uh, talk by Mr. Carlos Nush of ISTEC Argentina, a not-for-profit organization who highlighted their work in bringing the libraries in Argentina together and providing their services. I would like to mention that Mr. Peter Collins, the director of resource sharing OCLC, also graced the occasion and shared his uh, um, exhaustive uh, experience that he has with him uh, on this platform this morning. He gave an historical overview and spoke emphatically from CDL to digital lending. He uh, referred an interesting book title, which I would like to uh, also inform you all about it and to quote the title of the book, Meet the Future People and Ideas in the Libraries of Today and Tomorrow, published way back in the year 1964. And he also uh, narrated some of the excerpts from the book, uh, which were quite uh, heartening to know that how way back, 1964, more than 60 years ago, how someone could have envisioned that how the libraries and the technology would take its steps into and how the things would change. And I think in a way each uh, uh, of you may really would like to uh, refer to this title, and dig out this title and would like to refer to it. He discussed at length about the OCLC initiatives you know, in the direction of the controlled digital lending and he concluded his talk by mentioning a very powerful line and to quote him, because what is known must be shared. That is strongly uh, conveying the message that yes, we, the library and information science professionals, must be all the time ready enough for sharing. Uh, and sharing is definitely something which is going to make a difference in the lives of our users. Uh, I would like to mention that uh, the coordinator of the program, Mr. Tom, gave a presentation on behalf of Mr. Charlie Barlow, Executive Director, Boston Library Consortia in US, and he spoke uh, also at length you know, about the various initiatives being uh, made at Boston Library Consortia. I would also further would like to mention that the day also witnessed a session that was on IFLA's global role in open access, engaging networks and partnerships for sustainable development, which was being highly attended and highly engaging session, wherein uh, the IFLA president-elect, Mrs. Vicky MacDonald, uh, you know, spoke and it was also being attended by LNTC. The panel speakers uh, were Ziyang Hu, the UNESCO Information for All program, the Karen Gronwell of the National Library of Sweden, and, uh, and this was indeed a session where it, you know, lot many, uh, uh, the doubts, lot many, uh, you know, the discussions were held, uh, you know, this is to ensure that how we, the professionals in the libraries, uh, you know, can embrace this open access movement and can become a promoter for that. And this also again witnessed, you know, a, a good amount of discussions and uh, this was uh, one of the uh, also uh, highly uh, uh, you know engaging session uh, which the day one uh, has witnessed. Uh, this was also to mention that uh, late in the evening, uh, this evening today, a couple of hours ago, we have also witnessed the opening of the exhibition center, wherein the exhibitors from all the global uh, uh, you know companies and major reputed uh, uh, companies. And also, we have got a poster session area wherein a uh, large number of posters are also being. Uh, uh, are going to be presented at the convention, they are also being there. So it has been truly uh, uh, you know, a networking uh, day, a day being uh, you know, dedicated and devoted to celebrate librarianship, the global librarianship, and it indeed has been a pleasure and honor to report to you, to each one of you, about the deliberations being held at the day one of IFLA 2023 conference, uh, a memorable day uh, that each one of us being an attendee, you know, has uh, would cherish for long. I look forward to come back again to you tomorrow uh, to report to you about the deliberations of day two. Thank you very much and I must thank IFLA for providing me this wonderful opportunity to interact and to make you all aware about what has been happening here at Rotterdam at uh, IFLA 2023. Thank you so very much, each one of you, God bless you, and I look forward to be coming back again tomorrow and to report to you about the day too. Thank you very much.